What's going on everyone? Roscoe here. We are back. We're gonna go to Trophy Room. We're gonna fill out the raffle that they're doing in store for the J Balvins. Nobody really cares about that sneaker. However though, you know, I gotta get used to it, right? We gotta go test things out. Check it all around, right? See what's going on. It's one of those things where if I hit, awesome, but if not, I'm not really gonna be too worried about. If you guys don't know, so I ended up hitting these at Galactic Skate Shop, so whew, we're starting off really good. We're getting W's on W's on W's. We're not gonna wear too much heat today. I think I really wanted to bust out the Fire Red 4s, but I'm not gonna undes them if it's pouring out. We're gonna have to go with some Bread Force. We're gonna rock these. We're gonna wait for Joe to come pick us up. When he comes pick us up, we're gonna go to Trophy Room. We're gonna fill out the raffle. We'll see if Joe. Yeah, <laughs> it's already lightning and thundering pretty loud out that outside. Hey, Mr. Bane, what's going on, bubs? Give me a paw. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, we're at the store. It's pouring out. We're gonna go inside and check it out first time here. Super excited. We're gonna go fill out the J Balvin raffle. The layout of this store is absolutely insane. This is a really, really cool store. <laughs> like the lighting, the way everything is displayed is insane. But of course, it's this wall right here. That joke. What would you take from this yeah. wall, man? One pair? One pair from this wall. What would you take? Um, I'm a one guy, so I either take the ones, or I actually like the, the tens ones? a lot too, yeah. The tens? Yeah, the tens? Tens is sleepers, bro. Yeah. The the threes look nice, the fours look sick, obviously, yeah. but uh, the sixes and the twelves, dude, the twelves yeah, are clean. The twelve, I'm not even a big twelve guy. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So these are all one and one, made for the store only. Really dope, bro. Really, really dope. So yeah, so downstairs is like the Nikes, Jordans. Upstairs, if you take the stairs, it's all the hype. Off white. Uh, Palm Angels, stuff like that, but you have this, which, yo, yeah, that's cool. That is cool. That's dope. The one thing that's crazy to see is all these GR Jordans sitting, right? Oh, everywhere. GR Jordans are everywhere. Everywhere. We got Elephant 3s here, but then on the other wall, you got Georgetown 6s, which is just came out, and Fire Red 3s. So, yeah. We got sixes, sixes sitting, crazy, really nice good one, and then, of course, fire at threes, but I guarantee you, they're probably only half small sizes, Nike Air, so, oh, yeah, this is the best pizza downtown. All right, we're here at Ghetto's Pizza, downtown Orlando. I've been on a search for the best slice here, right? You guys know the streams. I've been going on rants. Pizza has been awful, but you guys say this is one of the best spots, so we're gonna give it a taste test. I kept it simple, cheese and pepperoni, because I feel like if you can't make the staples right, then you can't make a good pizza. So we'll go over the cheese first. Take a look. Look at the slice, dude. Look how huge this is. We'll do the face test, the face. All right. Okay, 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 okay. It's a little flop, little flop. It's got a good crunch. To me, it's a good crunch. It's not super, super greasy. The cheese is nice. I just add a little bit of red pepper flakes and some um, Parmesan. No stretch though. Where's the stretch? Where's the stretch? I get a 7.1. 7.1. Pretty good pizza, probably the best I've had so far, but 7.1. So you hit. What happened? So you hit. I hit. You're the one that hit out of all of us. I hit, bro. Bro. Unexpected W. Unexpected. 
I, we, I, what did I say? I joked, I'm like, oh, I was just like, oh, what size did you go for? 12 and a half, 13? Thir 13, 13. 13, and I said 13 is like one of the hardest sizes to hit. And I was like, oh, no, nah, he's not gonna hit on these. Like 13 is tough, all, bro. We and hit. he's the one that hit. Yes, sir. And me and Joe didn't hit. And Joe was like, oh yeah, well, oh, it's guaranteed. Guaranteed hit. This is an easy, easy W. This is the next day, obviously. We tried to go for him this morning. I, I, this morning, if you wanted a sneaker, you could have got him. But I skipped because I thought I was gonna hit. But then I didn't hit. What do we have? Yo, why are we wearing the same shoes, bro? Oh uh, shoot, and the same laces. And the same, no, I got, uh, I got no, you blue. Got, you got a mix. I got a blue. This man, you want the same shoes. <laughs> same it was shoes. Not, was not planned. Yeah, yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna light them up? Should we light them up? We can't, we can't recharge them. Easy enough. When you press it twice, it does the, uh, the glowing thing. Or, it's funny because these were. Ah, uh, okay. I see. I'm sure there's a. I don't know if there's like a zipper inside or what. Like to change a battery. I'm sure there is. Is it? Nah, they said. I was told there's no rechargeable battery on this. Like once it dies off, it dies off. No way. Yeah. So, how does it feel? It feels good, man. Finally got a W on something, bro. I've been taking <laughs> L's this whole month. Woo! All right, so we're going to take a look at these real quick. This is Martin's pair. Again, we did not hit on these, so we took an L on this. And it sucks because we could have easily got these online, but I was holding off. I was like, all right, let's just cop it in the store. That way I don't have to pay for the shipping. You know, the shoe is already super, super expensive. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we hit, pick it up in store. Shout out to Martin, he's gonna let me take a look at these. If you wanted a pair, you should have been able to get one online. They ended up restocking a bunch of times. They restocked on Jay Balvin's site. So these were $300 retail. I think for a lot of you guys that bought it online, it was like 330, 340 shipped. Here are the Jay Balvin's. Uh, comes in that uh, lightning box. You get the green lightning strikes on it. Uh, but let's open it up and take a look at it. Not too bad, not too bad. They remind me honestly of a little bit of a couple of pairs of sneakers. One of them distinctly the Union Dunks, the like the Argons, the Pistachios, how they have that plastic filter on the side. But the details on these are pretty cool. It's like, that's the one thing, like you can say it's ugly, you can say it's pricey, but they didn't skimp out on the details. You know, you have the rainbow stitching throughout, you have that plastic heel guard, but you can see the clouds on the back end. And then of course you have his logo, the smiley face with the lightning strikes for the eyes. Nike on the back, you have the clouds on the inside, a couple extra laces, you have this mint green, blue laces, and then the one on here stock is white. I told them to test it out because I was worried with all these QC issues nowadays, you wanna make sure your shoes light up because I don't think you can charge these. I don't know, we'll have to take a look. Just so all you gotta do is click and it lights up. Is adding the light up feature to the shoe worth it? No, man. It, like This shoe should be 225, 250 tops. For this to be $300, they're out of their damn mind. This is insane. It didn't really do that well, but uh, they ended up selling out in trophy room, so a lot of people picked it up. But I don't, I don't think they're that bad. I, I think they're pretty cool. They're just pricey. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, KFY. It's Martin. October 2nd, Sunday, pull up Kicks for Your Soul sneaker convention, Orlando Sheraton Hotel North. Giveaways every hour, be there. 